What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the Portuguese rig or the Earth rig for short. And we do that right now. All right, like I said, we're gonna talk about the Earth rig today or the Earth bar. Um, I got these ones from Shane at Crack and Tackle. Um, stand up company, they make really good products. So they come in this little package. It's not a little package, it's a big package, but cardboard, doesn't bend in the post. Um, so yeah, head on over to their website and check them out. They do good stuff. Okay, the Earth Bar. I've got two different types here. The first one, it's just the regular bar. It's a regular straight bar. And the second type is another bar, but this one's got like a boom on it and keeps it really standing out from the lead so i'm not a professional at these um by no means all right the earth bar what it is it allows you to have a really long flowing trace with one below two below uh, up to three below the lead you've got your swivel at the top to go on to your shock leader. You've got a swivel here for your hook length. And this clip is where the lead goes. I'll just show you quick. That goes on there. Like that, it holds. And this allows for your trace. Really long. You can do it as long as you want, really. Up to 15 feet. As long as you want, really. Um, 8 foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, 15 foot. You make a song out of it. But, yeah, there's that one. And then you've also got the one with the boom. And this boom spins, turns around. And basically, they both allow for a long flowing trace below the lead. They're not really for distance. I mean, you don't have to chuck it five feet in front of you, but it's not going to go 150, 175 yards unless you're a master caster, which I am not. So, right, let's get into it and we'll show you how to tie one. What we're going to do is I'm going to use some black line just for video purposes. Hopefully you can see it better. Ideally, you would use a thinner diameter line I would probably use a thinner fluorocarbon for it but you take your earth bar and this swivel is where you tie your snood length we'll just tie it on there just like you would regularly it's really really simple it's not complicated at all. Let's tie her on there. Wet the knot. Tighten it up. Snip it off. And that, basically now, is your hook length. I've only used a short piece for the video. Like I said, this hook length can be as long as you want it, up to 15 foot, eight foot, 10 foot. I'll probably do mine at about 10. Then you tie your hook on. You can use any size hooks. I'm just using a bit bigger ones for video purposes. You tie your hook on. Just like this. Tighten that up. Snip off a deal. And there you go. That is a one below Earth rig. And you can add other 
links on. You have one coming off, two coming off. I will show you now the stop knot technique on how to get other hook links on. To add another hook with the stop knot technique, you can do it really. You can feed a bead up here, then another swivel, then another bead with two snot stop knots at the top to hold it. You can do that for both your hook links, but the easiest one is just stop knot it onto your main line. So what you need to do is you get about a foot or so of other line. Make a loop with the other line. All right. Put it here like that onto your main line and wrap one of the tag ends around four or five times. One, two. Three. Just do it four. Wet it. Then you grab both ends of your second line, tighten it down. And then you can move it as well to move up and down. Take one of these guys, snip one of the ends off. And then put your other hook on. And like I said, this line's a little bit too thick. I would use a thinner diameter line for these. I've used a thicker line. I'm hoping that you can see it, really. Sticking myself in the finger. Tighten it up. Tag end off. Now, you've got a two below, just like that. Simple, easy, easy peasy. With your hooks, because this is a small line, small length of line, if you've got eight feet, you really want to put your second hook about a foot above your first hook. So then you attach your weight. Like so. And there my friends is your two below. Just like that. So cool. Simple. Um, and it'd be the same way with the one with the boom as well. Huh. All right guys, I hope you found this useful. It's a really simple setup to get three below. <sighs> There's nobody even there. That was the earth rig. Um, it's a really simple thing to set up. You're gonna have one hook down there, down the bottom, hard on the bottom. Two hooks, three hooks. I wouldn't really put, because it's like a long flowing trace, I'd go easy on the bling and the beads and stuff that, like that, so. Right, I hope that it helped guys. I hope that you got something out of it. If you've used this rig before and I missed something, I can do it better or something like that, let me know in the comments. It's one of the main parts I like is to interact with everybody, so. That's it, I hope it helps. I hope it works for you. Hope everybody's staying safe and tight lines as soon as we can get out, guys. And that's me, Angly Addict 75. I'm out.